So, we started to build the second puzzle, and then I realized something. Actually, a couple somethings. First of all, I am not smart enough for this puzzle. Second of all, I don't like puzzling. And third of all, Thanksgiving is over. So I'm not doing a Thanksgiving puzzling part two. It's Christmas time, baby. So I'm going to pack this all up and we are going to start unboxing Christmas presents. Christmas presents. Christmas decorations. Presents to me. Tomorrow. So. Ooh, is that not satisfying? Look at that. I've never been more satisfied. People like to watch people puzzle. I like unpuzzling. Okay? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Or welcome back. It's Christmas season! No angry pilgrims in this house. We are full sending it into Christmas. Uh, I mentioned in the intro to this that I am a bit of a Christmas hoarder. I don't think you can really comprehend how true it is until you see all of this. Um, now, I started hoarding Christmas stuff. My, I get this from my father. My father decorates his room every year, he's a teacher, for like tons of lights and inflatables and all this stuff, and it's so fun and festive. And I have just always been that way, too. Um, and so, in my dorms, every year I would throw a St. Nick's Day party, and I would decorate my dorm. And then, I started dating Stan, and Stan had a whole apartment, which meant I could collect more and more Christmas items uh, for the apartment, uh, to make it feel fully Christmassy, you know. Um, And I feel that I've succeeded in uh, doing that because this takes up three quarters of our storage. Yeah. In the apartment that's not closed. Yeah. Now, to be fair to myself, this, these three boxes, the big box, this box, and this box, are actually gifts. So I don't think you can see everything that is in my living room right now in frame. So we're going to switch it to wide angle. Oh my. <laughs> and uh, now you may understand why I say I'm a Christmas hoarder. <laughs> All right, that's enough of the wide angle. Back to the basics. All right, well, so anyhow, I thought it would be fun to do a time lapse of me decorating the house. We're going to do this in two parts. We're going to do the house part first because the tree needs to rest. And then we're going to come back tomorrow uh, for part two and film the tree. So it's going to be two videos. This is part one, house decorating. Part two, tree decorating, because I have a whole system for that. And all of these, this is all tree stuff. And I have a mini tree some in this box as well that also gets decorated. So, two parts. <laughs>
Okay, so in the time lapse you saw, what I was doing was sorting a lot of things. Um, I'm going to require a fair bit of Stan's help in figuring out where the final places are. So I am going to not record for now, and then I will give you a final tour of the non-tree decorations once they're all up, and then tomorrow after the Christmas tree goes up, a final review of our living area. So I will check in with you later today. Not anymore. No more Thanksgiving. Very resistant to change. It's Christmas. It's good for you. Have some. This is my job because Stan does the drawings. So I do, I do the erasing. I think you drew those pumpkins. I did draw the pumpkins. But you draw the hamsters. Okay, in a second you're gonna see the Christmas edition. And here you have it, our new design courtesy of Stan for St. Nick's Day. Um, so as you can see, we've hung some lights. We're gonna get more little stockings for the hamsters. I've made a shopping list, despite the large pile of things you saw at the beginning. Of, I've made a list of more things that I need for Christmas, believe it or not. So, that's cool. But these are our stockings, hung nicely by the Chimney with Care. Eh? Eh? We've wrapped our gifts that we have so far. Look at that. And we hung our lights. And if you come into the kitchen, it's a little messy still because we are putting these away. But we have this cute little spoon holder, hot spoon holder, some hot pads, oven mittens, and very exciting. And then turn around, turn around. These are our mugs from the previous Chris Kindle Marks in Chicago. Very fun. And then if we go into this hallway, I've hung this picture, which you're like, why this is not Christmassy, but it, it, it's the Christmas colors, the painting that was here before, where like fall colors moving into warm tones rather than cool tones. It's a vision. Okay, now, the room I'm most excited, oh, also this ornament. How fun, from the Dollar Tree, obviously. Moving into here, now this hallway, okay, it's not Christmassy, whatever, but close the door, it's Christmassy, see? But, open the door and you enter into a winter wonderland a freaking Christmas. You have some pants hanging. You open the door and you have a winter wonderland of Christmas. We have this Christmas curtain dedicated to me by my grandmother. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, then I inspired me to order new bath mats that match the curtains and new red towels to go with the curtains. So I've added to my Christmas hoard already. Uh, we have this ornament that matches, see the snowman, the snowman, the color scheme, it all like works together. And then over here we have this beautiful sign. This was part of a Christmas present from my aunt and uncle last year. And then Stan put up our color changing lights to a Christmas theme. And then I have on display all my Christmas ornaments, or ear earrings, not ornaments. I'm very excited, okay? And tomorrow, uh, well, in tomorrow's video, I'm going to show you um, us putting up the tree. I'll give a final tour of the living room and also a tour of our bedroom, maybe, depending on if we get the rods in time. Because I don't want to show you until, like, it's perfect. So that might be a different reveal. But we'll get a full vision of the living room in all of its glory 
tomorrow. But if the bathroom is a preview, I think you're going to be inspired by the living room. So tune in for that. If you like this video, uh, click the thumbs up button. If you have any comments or compliments down below, uh, or things you think I need to add to my Christmas collection, I'm always open for ideas. Leave those in the comment section down below. And if you want to see tomorrow's video follow-up or any of my other content, uh, please click subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Bye!